we've arrived in the brand new Smartworks Greater Manchester um, head office. It, will it be the head office, Jan? No, we have two centres, one in Stockport that's really successful, and we have this. I'm going to so do, I'm gonna do a bit centers. of a woo. <laughs> woo. Ooh, and next to you is Caroline Roberts Cherry as well. First of all, Jan, tell us um, about your journey here. Gosh, well, we've been successfully operating from Stockport for eight years now. We've seen, um, we supported 3,533 individual beneficiaries in that time. And last year, we absolutely smashed it, Caroline. We supported 794 uh, unique beneficiaries from Stockport. But really, as part of our national mission, I'm going to introduce our Chief Executive, Kate, to come into shot. Kate, please join us. Uh, our national charity, we're one of 11 now, centres yes, across yes, the UK. Right. And our national ambition is to grow from yeah, we want to double in size. The need has never been greater, I think. We want to help 10,000 women a year within two years. And I think post the pandemic and post the cost of living crisis, it's been a really hard time for women. And we're in a great position to be able to connect women back to their potential, get them back into the workplace where they can then go on and transform their lives. So this is a massive part it of- It is, isn't it? Yes, yes. Sterling work, sterling work. And Caroline, what, what, um, what do you think of this? And what, what's your role? Uh, I'm an ambassador for SmartWorks and um, I was delighted to be asked to do this role. So it's about getting the word out to all of the women um, who SmartWorks can help, which is basically any woman who needs boosting confidence, needs that outfit to nail the job interview and to change their lives. It's an incredible charity. That's awesome, awesome. Let's sign off and let's see what else is going on. In the city centre. So it's always been a passion <coughs> to be in the city centre um, and I'm very proud of my union so the fact that you're here now I think is absolutely wonderful but the fact that you're helping women and women from all backgrounds and ages, age is a big thing obviously. Um, so you can tell from the slightly strange accent that even my mother um, doesn't understand anymore. Um, I wasn't born here, but like many Mancunians, find my home in Manchester and I've now been here 20 years. Thank you. Here at the SmartWorks Open Day, we have Bev Craig, Lead Council. Is that right, Bev? Yep, that's me. Yeah, that's you. And we have Rose Marley, I won't call you a landlord, but you are, <laughs> <laughs> you are CEO of Cooperatives UK. Welcome to the SmartWorks Open Day, ladies. Thank you. It's good to be here. So I wanted to, um, you talked about Margaret Ashton mm. and uh, I want you to sort of embellish on that and the connection with Bev. Yes, Margaret Ashton was the first female council for Manchester City Council, she was Sophia, and um, she, was, she served on the council and, and did a lot of work uh, around World War One. but she did fall slightly out of favour with the council at that point. For a long time she wasn't celebrated in Manchester until the 80s, her college was named after, her streets mm. were named after and she was really brought to the fore. Mm. And I first found out about it from Shark Future Centres who were doing research about a uh, great men's union. Uh, women. So yeah, I just thought it was really uh, brilliant to see uh, Bev here today as actually the leader of, of Manchester City Council because Margaret's obviously inspiration because she stood true to the values and principles which um, are of the first thing Yeah, that's fantastic. And so SmartWorks, obviously, they offer the, the free career coaching and the interview and the dressing for mm. your unemployed women. You gave a, a little bit of an anecdote about, about your sister, was it? Um, yeah, I think from, from my background and um, my experience growing up in a working class environment where I know firsthand the disadvantages people might start from when they go um, looking for jobs. And I think for me, I'm just really passionate that it has to be about the support, being able to enable people to bring out and tease out confidence, to have somebody that believes in you, as well as thinking about how you present yourself and how you walk into an interview. That's something that the system really misses out on. So. That's why I was keen to come and support it, because I think they do some great work building up the confidence and self-belief of many of our women in Greater Manchester. And we want to see what they can do for Manchester residents to help them make that leap and get back into the job market. And finally, your thoughts on them being here in Manchester? Well, we're right in the city centre of Manchester, and I think that makes it much easier for people to be able to access their services. So we're going to help them spread the word 
make sure that people know they can refer into it and make sure that people know that it's here for all of the residents, no matter what their backgrounds are across Greater Manchester. Thank you. Thank you, Bev. Thank you, Rose. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Dr Elsa Zakeng and I am a Smart Works Greater Manchester Charity Trustee. I have been in this role for over 18 months and I have thoroughly enjoyed it. Cumulatively, the board of Greater Manchester Trustees will make over 40 years of experience and energy and passion in supporting unemployed women to get into work. Over the past eight years, we have seen over 4,000 women and supported them to get into employment, and we see about 100 clients monthly. Now, unfortunately, I was not able to be present at the opening of the new um, city centre branch, but this is just an expansion into supporting more women to be able to get employment. I truly believe that there's no greater freedom than financial freedom, and supporting women to be able to reach this is something we are thoroughly passionate about. And dedicated and looking forward um, to reaching out and expanding the reach of SmartWorks and Greater Manchester Charity to everybody, regardless of diversity, regardless of demographic, and supporting them to attain their goals. Thank you very much. We've got a new SmartWorks office, absolutely stunning. I think it's just going to attract women from all over Greater Manchester, the north of Manchester where it's really needed, high deprivation, a lot easier access for those women to come and help them find jobs. And um, from the, the conversations and the talks we've heard today, anything resonate with you, Susanna? I think it is that conversation about North Manchester. I know the sort of original office was in Stockport, which is absolutely fantastic, but how are women in Oldham and Bolton um, going to find easy access to that? So it's going to be far more accessible to being City Centre, right next to Victoria Station, Shoes Hill Bus Station. Um, I just think they'll be able to access and support so many more women. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm happy the day has arrived. Finally open. So pleased.